Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the black-footed ferret. This is uh, an animal that I photographed during my recent trip to Custer State Park and Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota. The black-footed ferret is an interesting animal in the sense that it was once thought to be extinct. So let's get started and look at some images and also hear the story of how this animal that was once thought to be extinct has come back and is now listed on the endangered species list. In order to photograph ferrets, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, first, you have to be able to find them. Ferrets are nocturnal animals and they hunt primarily at night, but occasionally you can find them in the early morning or the very late evenings. I did a video about how to identify the ferret burrows and I'll link that up here in the top. Photographing the ferrets is actually pretty simple. They do have a lot of white on their face and so you need to be careful that you do not overexpose and blow out the whites. But other than that, they're pretty simple to photograph. They are active mammals. They will tend to scurry from burrow to burrow and so they can be a little bit challenging to follow around but they are a lot of fun to watch. They're found in prairie dog towns and their diet is composed of approximately 92 percent prairie dog. The balance of their diet is voles and mice and various things like that. The very first recording of black-footed ferrets was in 1851 by John James Audubon and John Backman. The ferrets became rare during the 1950s because of loss of habitat when we tried to exterminate a lot of the prairie dog towns of course, there was also a loss of the ferrets. Ferrets were also subject to disease. A type of plague is believed to have caused a lot of the loss of the ferrets. One remaining wild ferret population was found in 1964 in Paletti, South Dakota and it was believed that this was the last remaining wild colony in the world. Some of these ferrets from Maletti County were taken in for a wildlife breeding program and the ferret was listed on the endangered species list and was also protected by the Endangered Species Act of 1973. The last wild ferret in Paletti County died in 1974. The last black-footed ferret that had been taken in to the Wildlife Research Center passed away in 1979 and at that time the black-footed ferret was believed to be extinct. In 1981 during the autumn a ranch dog named Shep dragged home a dead ferret and its owners took the ferret to a local taxidermist who identified it as a black-footed ferret. The taxidermist 
also notified the wildlife officials and the wildlife officials came to the ranch and were able to find the live black-footed ferrets on this ranch in Wyoming. And this started the recovery program for the animal that was once thought to be extinct. A captive breeding program was started and the ferrets were bred at a number of breeding facilities and then once they were successfully bred they were released back into the wild into areas of South Dakota, Wyoming, Arizona, Canada and a few other places. This wildlife breeding program was very successful. At the current time there is over a thousand ferrets in the wild one of the places that the ferrets were reintroduced to was Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota. And these images that I'm showing here were taken at Wind Cave National Park, which is right on the border of Custer State Park in southwest South Dakota. There are a number of images here, and I had a lot of fun photographing the ferret. But this one image is my favorite, which shows the ferret kind of overseeing his territory and looking for his prey. But this particular image of the ferret where we're seeing him sort of in profile. If you've enjoyed this, please uh, hit the like icon and also please subscribe to my channel. I do videos each week, sometimes more than one video a week. And I thank you so much for joining me today as we talk about this amazing recovery program that has been successful at reintroducing the black-footed ferret into the wild.